Hi, my name is Pamela and I represent the HEX team. In this video, I will be introducing our project on the scheduling and dispatch optimization tool, also known as SDOM. With the key performance indicator of time to market and customer responsiveness, many manufacturing companies are adopting Industry 4.0 standards to optimize productivity, efficiency, and flexibility via digital manufacturing solutions. One of such solutions is to provide real-time end-to-end planning and control via an effective scheduling system that aims to handle and optimize the dynamic production environment, thereby reducing cycle time, increase machine utilization and throughput, and meet the due date, and eventually achieving greater customer satisfaction and trust. So in this project, a scheduling problem based on a semiconductor back-end test case study is performed via its Excel software and author planner. The case study mainly focuses on the particular process of the test manufacturing whereby the integrated circuits will be placed in an oven at desired high temperature for prolonged hours to remove any moisture content. This process is also known as bake-in operation and the lots are processed in the ovens in batches. Therefore, this project aims to schedule and optimize the semiconductor test operation by selecting the most optimum lots to be batched and load into the available ovens in the future simulated time. The objectives of this um, scheduling problem is first to meet the due date by improving the delivery accuracy, which is defined as processing the right lots and quantity to meet the delivery demand. The second objective is to minimize cycle time, which is defined as the time taken for the lot to complete the entire process. Our solution is divided into two stages of optimization. In the first stage, a set of lots will be selected from the work-in-progress list via Excel software. These slots are selected based on the objective to fulfill the delivery demand requirement. In the second stage of the solution, involves the scheduling and dispatching of these selected lots to the available ovens for processing, with the objective to minimize cycle time. My teammate will now elaborate more on the solution. This is the first part of our lot scheduling program. Before we feed our lot information into the optimizer, we begin with a lot of data concerning products that are manufactured. However, not all of these are required to be delivered according to plan. So in this step, we use the Excel solver to perform genetic algorithm to string the pool of products we need to schedule for our bake-in. To the left, we have the work in progress lot list. These are manufactured products that is ready to be scheduled for the baking process. Here, we list all the product types and quantity that are ready to be baked. They are packaged in lots, so we assign a binary toggle to each package in 1 and 0. We will permit it the binary toggles to do this optimization. To the right, we have our delivery plan. This will contain the product type that needs to be delivered and the quantity required. Our objective will be to minimize the sum of the difference between the quantities chosen by our GA and the required product quantity over here. This will ensure that we bake only those that are required to be delivered. So in this case, I initialize my toggles to zero. So we will start the solver. We are using a population size of 50 and a mutation rate of 0 0.075 So let's solve it Ok, we got a solution If you noticed, we set several soft constraints and we incur a heavy penalty so the wrong solutions will be most likely rejected fast. However, we do have to strike a balance by doing alpha and beta variable tuning. Although this is not guaranteed to provide the best solution, this is an acceptable one. Now that we have selected the lots from our previous GA process, we will generate this CSV file which we are going to use in our next process. Let's look at our front end page. To start the optimization process, we can do it two ways. Either to populate the logs within the page,
or there's a better alternative. We can upload a CSV file and we will recommend doing it as it's easier to organize the data. Let's upload a CSV file. As you can see, the CSV file is uploaded. Let us set a time schedule for this. Okay, let's start the process. Okay, we're done. Okay, so here's the results. As you can see, the solution has violated a hard score of 2 and a soft score of 1570. By right, it shouldn't be violating the hard score, but for this demo, we have set it to be solved within 1 minute. If we let the solver run for a longer time, the hard score can be 0. Over here, you can see the CS schedule being lined up in the chart and respective ovens on the left side. So, lots are being packaged beforehand. So, you can see which package goes into which oven and which time slot and within how many days. Below, you can see the, the result in a spreadsheet format. In conclusion, utilizing OctaPlanner as a solver engine to optimize processes has proven effective in this project. Scheduling machine job is a tedious process, as not only it takes up a lot of time to perform, the planned schedule might not be the best solution. By doing a local search algorithm and optimizing certain desired values, although it might not yield the best result due to converging to a local optimum, can be done effortlessly compared to using manual method. Of course, certain improvements can be made on top of optimization process such as a prediction model to predict if delivery of final products can be achieved on time. As a whole, this project has achieved its objective with the ability to generate schedules automatically and effectively.